In this lecture, we're going to talk about different word forms and the different collocations that go with these word forms. So one of the things that you might have noticed is that sometimes you'll have a word with uh, one collocation. For example, if I give you the sentence, simple sentence, uh, marketing impacts the number of sales. Let's focus on this word impacts. So if we look at the word impacts, what follows this verb impact is a noun. However, if I give you another sentence using impact as a, in a different word form, the collocation will change. So if we look at the word impact in this sentence, impact is a noun, and we have this collocation of. So the point is that depending on the word form, the collocation that goes with that word form changes. This week, what you guys will be doing is you guys will be practicing looking for the different word forms of one word from the academic word list and looking for the collocations that go with these different word forms. So what you're going to need for this activity is the UEFAP vocabulary website and you'll also need to refer to the corpus of contemporary American English. So <clears throat> we're going to try to do this using the word analyze. So the first thing we need to do is find different word forms of the word analyze. So from your practice with the vocabulary journals, you know that we go to using English for academic purposes. We scroll down and look for the word analyze. Okay, so here's the word analyze. We have a whole bunch of different word forms. So all you need to do is choose three. You can do more if you like, but for the assignment, uh, this week's um, word forms and collocation assignment, all you need to do is choose three of them. So I'm going to try, I'm going to choose analyze, analysis, and analytical. Analyze is a verb. Analysis is a noun. And analytical is an adjective. So that's the first part. Next thing you need to do is go to the Corpus of Contemporary American English, or the COCA. You guys should be already familiar with this. You log in. I've already logged in. You're going to type in the first word, which is analyze, and we're going to look for some collocations. So we're going to set collocates to um, zero before, one after, and hit search. Okay, so we'll go with the top two or three collocations. So one of the collocations is there, analyze there. Another is analyze what. And another one is analyze data. So I'm going to write all three collocations for the word form analyze. Okay, and now what I want to do is, if 
we want to be more specific, we can look for one word before the word analyze. We'll hit search. And we come up with two. Two is, if we look at this number right here, it's a very high frequency. So I'm going to type in two before all of these. To analyze there, to analyze what? To analyze data. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is come up with an original sentence using one of these three collocations. You can make up the sentence yourself, but you want it to be, you want to use a collocation, number one. Number two, you want to make sure that the language you use is formal and academic. So I'm going to type a sentence. Again, you have to make it up yourself. Don't look in any dictionary or any website. Um, <clears throat> the students were asked to analyze their their data from the survey that they conducted. Okay, so we have the we have the collocation right here. You want to highlight it. Okay, so that's all you need to do. You write one sentence. The next thing you're going to do is go to the next word form, which is analysis. And of course, we go back to the corpus of contemporary American English. Change this to analysis. We're going to look for one word after the word analysis. search and it looks like the most common one is of analysis of also analysis revealed and analysis showed you can put in all three of these but the most common one is going to be of so we'll go back to our exercise and type in analysis of analysis revealed and analysis showed. Go back to the corpus of contemporary American English, change this to one word before analysis. Let's see what we can find out. So it looks like an analysis, data analysis, factor analysis, We'll just go with an analysis for right now. So we can put an analysis of, an analysis revealed, and an analysis showed. So you can see that by using the COCA, we can figure out the pieces that fit around the word. And again, this is how um, native speakers use the words or these collocations. And again, we're going to write a sentence for analysis, an analysis of, an analysis revealed, whichever one you want to use. You can use any of the three that collocations that you found. I'm going to use <clears throat> the first one, analysis of. And again, you write an original sentence. Okay, so I can highlight the collocation. Okay, so my sentence is the students were asked to conduct an analysis of their data. So you can see how the word analysis in the noun form is used with the collocation. And then you do the same thing with analytical. Find three different uh, collocations with your word, with the correct word form, and then write another sentence. 
when you go to the um, document called Word Forms Collocations Practice, which is on eCompanion, um, you'll be doing exactly this and you'll see this exact same model, model exercise as an example on that exercise document.